at the Burger Fair in Babel and about to meet up with latest Afrikaans rap sensation Jack Parrow. Let's go check him out. Jack Parrow and your mother are icy. You think he's cool or is he? Want you rook Eve Saint Laurent cigarette? You think he's cool or is he? Want you the tattoo of a slang on your tete? You think he's cool or is he? Want you the plakat of Led Zeppelin on your bed? You think he's cool or is he? Want you every year by the giant B Mac? You is Onis. I come with the raw beat. Now Jack, you are taking the South African rap scene by storm. Tell us, where did it all start? Um, I've been rapping for long, uh, about nine years. And like, um, just been like, yeah, well, I, the first time I actually got into rap was like, when I was like 12, my mom bought me like an L5 or something CD. And then there was a track on there by Snoop Dogg called What's My Name. And then when I heard that track, I knew like, yo, yeah, I'm amped for the rap. Now the name Jack Pedo. Everyone wants to know how did the name Jack Pedo come about? Um, well, obviously Pedo. I was born in Pedo, so so that obviously played a part in it. And then um, I um, I was actually watching um, oh Pirates of the Caribbean. Like who the hell's Jack Pedo, the Pirate of the Caribbean? I'm Jack Pedo, the Pirate of the Caravan Park. Yeah. So that's how my name came about. Yeah. Well, I grew up here. Uh, like I was born in Pedo. And then uh, I moved to Belleville, stayed in Belleville for, the, for, for a while. Um, and then I moved to Durbanville after that. Um, I moved, I'm staying in Durbanville now, which is just like, it's just like, it's kind of a, it's kind of a moving on up kind of vibe. Pato to Belleville to Durbanville. But it's like, uh, yeah, I'm, I had a good childhood. I had some good friends. Like we all, all the guys that are from all the bands now, we all grew up together. So we used to call trouble together. And yeah, it was a lick of lick to go up in Belleville's nice. It's a, it's a fun place. I know everyone thinks it's so zef and stuff, but it's, uh -huh. it's a lekker plek. It's Onis, I come with raw beat. You learn what, I go and seek it. Now all your lyrics are in Afrikaans. Why did you choose Afrikaans specifically? Um, well, like obviously at the start, uh, sort of like um, rapped in, in English first. Um, which because everyone like obviously when you when you like bands or anything like when you, you always do it in English first because everything you're listening to is in English and stuff and then um, and then I was in this um, um, crew called Clench Fist with um, like these guys from uh, Mitchell's Plain and from from um, Soweto and stuff and then um, we did this one track where where I'm like the boor and they like the burgies and stuff and then um, and then I was like okay cool, I'm gonna do it in like Afrikaans because that's like the, the obviously it'll be more believable like that and then I wrote it and then after I wrote it I was like damn like this is why I haven't been writing in Afrikaans forever because it went so easy I wrote in like five minutes and then and obviously it's my language and I never like when I rapped in English I, I never really felt like I was really like bringing my my point across. I was never felt like I was really being myself. And then when I wrote, started writing Afrikaans, I like it's just so much easier. I, I can just like I can when I write a song, I feel like um, like I put everything in it. I put myself in the song, you know. So that's that's why I've stuck with Afrikaans. Yeah, I love Afrikaans. Really? Well, the response has been actually been really great. I can't believe it. Like I think I kind of give like people a, a leeway to like. To like be themselves almost in a way, and like um, so, I think people like that. They like um, like Tanis or like when they're with me, they when they're like talking to me, they'll like swear and stuff, and they'll be like oh like liking it and stuff. And, and obviously, because I mean Afrikaans is 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 a uh, there's a the, the whole um, like kind of like conservative Afrikaans thing is is, a, is, is almost like in a way um, forced on a lot of people. And they don't want it. That's not really who they are, but they get forced into into that whole thing. So I mean, like um, I've kind of crossed boundaries and stuff. So so it's uh, yeah. I think uh, yeah. I haven't really gotten much bad bad response or, or people who really hate me. That much. I've had like a few, but not as much as I, I, I anticipated that I was gonna get. Now, what would you classify your music as? That, yeah, I always say it's romantic Afrikaans um, rap music. Yeah. Um, I think it's just uh, it's something different. Uh, it's like Afrikaans rap, obviously, but it's um, I don't really stay with the rap, the rap stereotype. Like I try to move away from it. Like on my, if you like, it's just like my beats and stuff are all like all over the place, from drum and bass to like uh, Buddha music to like dubstep to like uh, yeah, straight hip hop beats to rock beats, to dance, rave, everything. Like I just mix 
everything that I've experienced in my life and put it all into stuff into one thing. Like I kind of, because I, me myself, I like like all kinds of music. I, I I don't really like keep myself to one type of music. So so that's why like I think my album is also so different because I if everyone sends me beats and then I, I I kind of grab things from from everywhere. So yeah. Obviously, like I've been writing in Afrikaans for long, like six, seven years, and and it's just kind of the, the it's like anything. Like once you start writing or doing it, you obviously get better and better and better at it, and it kind of just flows after a while. But um, so the writing thing, keeping it Afrikaans, is obviously the easiest part. But it's when I listen to, I usually listen to it. A track first, like I would listen to the beat, and then then that will kind of tell me what what to write about. So so it will kind of talk to me the beat in a way, like and kind of give me a feeling like from the music. I'll feel in a I'll feel a certain way, and I'll be like, okay, this is like more of a maybe I was write something like dance on dance or or whatever it, it, the case is. And then sometimes I'll be like in a I'll be driving or I'll be in a mood, like a certain mood or, or something and I'll, I'll just get like stuff in my head and I'll start writing that down. I think my message is pro probably just like party and enjoy yourself and like there's not, like we're all the same and stuff because I, like especially when my cooler is acting, my whole thing was like I, I was getting pissed off with like all this like kind of stuff where, where you like go to a place and it's like all this like these people think they're also cool and I want us to talk to each other and I want us to party like we all just there to party together and like it's 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 a fun thing and that's what I actually like that's why I'm still living in Belleville because Belleville isn't as bad as like Cape Town can be more like can be very like clicky and stuff Belleville is more like everyone just like parties with everyone yo at the moment it's going like now that my album's out like I'm getting like crazy like um like requests from people like all over to, to do tracks with them so at the moment I'm I'm obviously like I've just released the whole album so I'm, I, I write I, I'm writing the whole time and I think and it's quite fun that the people are getting wanting me to, to feature on their albums and stuff quite crazy so so I'm working on collaborations also still writing like on my on a, on a next um, album and stuff so just I just want to keep writing like I just want to keep my brain fit in the writing thing yeah so touring and rapping yeah <laughs>